Diamond B Sports presents the American Sports Cavalcade. A panorama of speed, color, drama, and excitement. The American Sports Cavalcade. The Nordic Xfinity Series came to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for chase race number three at the Brickyard as the top five drivers in the points after this race would set the field for the final five for the final round as they would have three more races afterwards. At the start, it was Marcus Richardson leading Bobby Zielinski, Jared Darling, Brett Bancari, and John Berry the top five as the field of 15 cars would make their way around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for 80 laps and it didn't take long for the action to get fast and furious around, around this famous yard of bricks. As in turn two, Marcus Richardson gets very tight, gets into Bobby Zelinski. That forces a mass scramble as Jared Darling goes to the inside to make it free wide. John Barry and Brett Funkari were also move up positions as they fan out nearly four wide in the turn three. And all that battling would allow John Barry to take over the lead with Jared Darling in the number two spot and Funkari eventually in the third spot. On lap number three, Jared Darling would make his presence fail. He would get to the inside of John Barry in turn one as he would take over the race lead for the first time as well. And that would make the second lead change of the race. Darling's lead would last until lap 17 as the series point leader Bobby Zelinski would show his stuff once again as he got to the inside in turn one and two and he would move up to the number one spot. Also, Marcus Richardson in the mix would eventually move up to number two spot but unfortunately for Marcus he had issues later on in the race and now it caused him to fall out. A lap 34 near the end of green flag pit stops Brett Van Kari, he would have the lead but then Bobby Zelinski would blow by and I'd take the lead once again and just as these two were battling Ryan Marion who was the leader would come into the pits to make his first pit stop. Then at the end of lap 40, Pankari would come in for his second pit stop of the race. And just as he would leave pit road a couple of laps later, the 22 of Darling would get too high in the exit of turn 1, hit the outside retaining wall. He would overcorrect and spit out. And that would cause the first caution and the only caution of the race to come out on lap 42. Restart on lap 47, Pankari would be in the lane with John Barry being alongside of him. A few other cars stayed out as Pankari would try to run away and use the strategy he had to his advantage. But eventually here came the Zelinski freight train as on lap 52, he would catch up to Pankari and start a fight with him. And Pankari would do anything he can to even block Zelinski to try and hold on to the lead. But his efforts would prove to be futile as a lap later they're on Zelensky would get another run in the exit of turn two and the driver of the Red Bull 83 he would also leads the points in sim raising authority would get to the inside and then take over the lead once again unfortunately for Pankari in the 19 his good fortunes would take a nasty nasty turn as a lap later while trying to stay with Bobby Zelensky he gets too high on the exit of turn two, hits the outside wall, does a terrific job to not crash the thing, and cause a mad scramble, but unfortunately, he was out of contention for a good run. After that, it was all Bobby Zielinski. He's going to come out turn four, and he would claim his seventh win of the Newark Xfinity Series season and lock a spot in the final five. The final results, Zelensky would win Ryan Marion with second, Cody Miller, John Berry, Sean Williams, Jared Darling, Chris Deshaun, Doug Erickson, Pankari would be ninth, and Justin Gable are not the top 10. The top five drivers that qualified for the chase were Zelensky, John Berry, Bobby Cheney who had issues early in the race, Cody Miller, and Sean Williams. Congrats to the top five and good luck in the final three races of the North season. <laughs>